Hi there, it's Sam from poodlestock.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is this one. This is a darling little box. It's two by four by one inches, made um, out of cardstock with the beautiful botanical blooms, no, botanical gardens, designer series paper. And you can fit a remarkable amount of stuff inside this box. You could fit one of them, those two, all of those little dime bars and two of those. It's two by four by one inches. Did I say that already? Possibly, but look, one of our medium punches fits inside, no problem. This is a, oh, what is this? This is a B block. This one's a C block. They fit in there, no problem. So definitely giftable. You can fit all of those dime bars in and two tins of Vaseline without any problem whatsoever. Love it. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to make it. And you need a piece of cardstock, isn't it cute? That is six by six and a half inches, which is 15 by 16 and a half centimetres. I'm going with the Botanical Gardens paper again and in exactly the same pattern. This one's got Cajun Craze as the base to it, but I'm going with Hello Honey, which is one of the other colours in it. And it's lovely. I don't use Hello Honey very often. Not sure why. Not really a yellow kind of girl. Probably that would be why. So, OK, with your long side at the top. So this is your six and a half inch side, your 16.5 uh, centimetre side we're going to score it at two three five and six inches which is five seven and a half twelve and a half and fifteen centimeters and then turn it round and score it at one and five inches which is two and a half and twelve and a half centimeters so it's quite easy scoring fold and burnish the score lines with my bone folder there it is so fold all of these and then burnish them well. And my grid paper is curling just at the edges. I think it's just off camera, but it's enough to annoy me. <laughs> have to have flat grid paper. It's actually just catching on my sleeves. Okay, so if you hold it this way round, where you've got all your horizontal score lines, this one here, where your narrow part is, that is the top. That's this flat part here. So we need to remove the basically these two. Um, top sections here so this thin one and the square so you need to get rid of those there so I will cut those down and then I will hover so you can see what I'm doing I've just turned it around obviously the right way around for me and do that on both sides okay so let's turn it around so that's the top so those are the bits that you've removed there and then we're just going to cut into these parts here and notch into your square so cut straight down your score line and then wedge into that square a tiny bit and again do that on both sides I love these kind of boxes I didn't know how much I could fit in it until just before I started filming I thought oh wonder what I can find in my rummage drawers to fit in there so the box is going to all fold up like this and go around like that. So what I would suggest to you, because you need to get the DSP on first, is kind of hold it in position and put a little mark in the centre of each part that is going to be DSP'd up. So that's going to be the top, that's going to be the front and the back. And now this part here is obviously going to tuck inside, so this is also going to be the, the outer part, the front of the box, they're going to go round so you get this nice smooth finish. So they're also going to have DSP as well. And that is going to make life much easier for you when you stick it down because you can see which bits to stick on. Okay, so let's go with some measurements. Don't panic about writing them down. It's all on my blog. In the description bar below, down there, you'll find a link directly to this project itself. So you need two bits for the front that measure three and three quarters by one and three quarters which is nine and a half by four and a half centimeters two of them you need one that runs along the top that one three quarters of an inch by three and three quarters so that's two centimeters by nine and a half and then the two for the sides three quarters of an inch by one and three quarters which is two by four and a half centimeters okay so let's get all of these snailed up run adhesive all over them and 
Okay, so I'm going to go with my side panels. And obviously because this is a, a, a random pattern, you don't need to worry about it, it being the right way up or the wrong way up or anything like that. But I do have, I did cut one of the pieces that had more yellow on it than the other. So I am going to just double check which is going to be the front. So that's going to be my front part. And that's the one with more yellow. So I'm going to put that one on the front and then this one is going to be the back. Okay. So just a tiny little bit more to do before we put it together. And that's to round the corners just so it slips in easily. So that your lip boat goes in easily. So corner round punch. And onto there and onto there. And then I've got a half inch, no, three quarter inch circle. And again, that's just a thumb holder, really. Or a little, you know, handy helper thumb doodah. And I am just eyeballing it. I'm not going sciency or measuring it. I'm doing it on a wing and a prayer. <laughs> so that's going to go there. Right, so I need to put adhesive on these tabs because they're going to stick to this part here, which is closest to where I've rounded. So I'm just going to put my fuse, thump the tripod on the way, why not? And fold those into this one that is closest to your lip part. Okay, so we're part way there and then this bit is going to come round and be the front. Oh, I'm going to stick myself to it now. And again, bring it all round. Drop it while you're there. Bring it all round and line it up. Oh, I've got, really have got drops in my hands are very dry today. It's freezing and I've got the heating up and that's probably not helping. Okay, so that's the box made. So your, your lid slips in like that, no problem. We're just going to do a little bit of decoration now. And I've got the You're So Lovely stamp set. I love it. I really do love this set. I have used it so much. I love that the fonts are different, that they're, they're kind of, I like that it's one of those catch-all stamp sets where there's loads of different things that you can, um, you know, stamp for. You know, no, um, what's the word? Occasions you can stamp for. My brain exited the building today. Um, so I'm going for this one that says, trust me, you're lovely. And a piece of very vanilla. Now, on some of the some of the papers it's white in the background on this particular one it is actually vanilla it does look there you go I've got a white flower there but also vanilla so kind of find which one is dominant I'm going with vanilla hello honey ink no idea how this is going to look on vanilla I don't think I've ever stamped it on, <laughs> on vanilla let's see shall we really quite nice actually that was a nice surprise washi label punch maybe get a bigger piece of cardstock <laughs> so you can actually keep hold of it and then my faithful linen thread and all I'm going to do is I'm just going to put some adhesive in the middle at the front because actually I want to cover over the I don't I'm not tying a bow or anything <laughs> everybody cheers in delight I'm not trying to attempt to tie a bow and I'm just going round three times And then I can put some dimensionals on the back of that. And that is my box made because I'm going to cover up that adhesive. And that's the job done. Well, what do you think? Easy peasy. Like I say, there's loads you can fit in it. Yeah, you can. Oh! <laughs> My stylus has just caught in this and thrown across the table. So yeah, you could fit a punch in it. You could, like I say, I went to IKEA recently. These will fit in it. Couple of Vaselines, all sorts. Anyway, thank you very much for joining me, and I hope to speak to you soon. Bye.